This is the 2021 Toyota RAV4 LE. If you're trying to find a pre-owned vehicle, then this versatile RAV4 is the perfect choice. The RAV4 LE has all-wheel drive, but still gets 34 miles per gallon of gas on the highway, keeping you moving forward on or off-road without having to break the bank at the pump. With Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, this mid-size crossover is equipped to keep you, your passengers, and your cargo safe and sound with features like dynamic cruise control, pedestrian detection alert, and many more. The best part is that this RAV4 is protected by Toyota's certified pre-owned warranty. Today, we're taking Roshan Jazzwall for a spin. The 6'3 defenseman joined the dogs in late February, and the Burnaby British Columbia native has already notched one goal and two assists in seven games for Roanoke. What a strong start. How are you doing, sir. Roshan? How you doing, Mr. Stewart? <laughs> doing well. I'm Mitch Stewart, and this is Driving with the Dogs. What's going so, on? Great to see you. You as well? We get you buckled nice in. Nice car. Here. Is this your car? I wish. Yeah, you gotta. Uh, me too. I gotta keep doing a few more of these driving with the dogs. Maybe yeah, they'll true, let me take yeah. one away, right? Well, man, good to have you in here today for driving with the dogs. Uh, it's been awesome having you here in Roanoke so far. I wanted to talk to you first, just about kind of this season for you. You had stepped away from the game for a little while yep. before you ended up coming to Roanoke. What led to that decision and kind of that process between you and Dan and getting you here with the dogs? Uh, you know, I was at home at Christmas. I was retired my mind I was retired and uh, I was kind of sitting around you know I was doing a lot of coaching and stuff and uh, first couple months you know got a couple of calls from some teams and I said no I'm good I'm done um, and then kind of you know you start missing the game a little bit I'm a big pro wrestling fan and every every pro wrestling fan will tell you the pro wrestler when he says he's retired is never retired until like the <laughs> second or third time so it, it was pretty par for the course you know I started getting like itch a little bit I know Fordo uh, we played together in Jacksonville and We've known each other for a few years. He's a good friend. So he gave me a call and we were kind of talking and I was like, yeah, you know, I would be interested in coming. And then we kind of just started it like that. And then, uh, you know, it kind of worked out good timing. My rights were in Vermillion and they ended up folding. And so I became a free agent. And next thing you know, I'm in the Star City. Here we are. <laughs> I'm not retired anymore. So you grew up in Burnaby, British Columbia, yep. or at least that's what your elite prospect says. Yep. I always have to tread a little yep. lightly on those, but... <laughs> What was it like for you growing up there? What, what was your hometown like, and how did you get your start in the hot? Uh, Burnaby's awesome. It's, like, probably 15, 20 minutes from, like, downtown Vancouver. and uh, Vancouver, I don't know if anyone that's watching this knows about Vancouver, but it's beautiful. You know, you have the mountains, oceans, all that, and British Columbia there. And So growing up, you know, it was nice being outdoors and stuff, but I never truly appreciated it until I really moved away for hockey. So, And then you come home for a summer, and you're staring at the mountains, you're looking at the ocean, like, yeah, man. It's beautiful. So growing up in Burnaby was awesome. I mean, I have all, all my good friends are back home. And uh, then how did I get into hockey? Was to, you know it's funny because my brother's eight years older than me, but he uh, my dad put him into hockey. My dad moved here from India. He became a huge hockey fan in the seventies. So when my brother was born, he put him into hockey, and my brother hated it. He was just like out there. He wanted to talk <laughs> to me, whatever. But I was like three, two, three years old, and you know I'd be grabbing people's hockey sticks, like playing in the dressing room with them. And my dad was kind of like, "Oh, this guy's probably the one that likes hockey a little more." So put me into skating lessons. Like I don't even remember learning how to skate. It's kind of like you don't remember learning how to walk. So uh, and then yeah, ever since then I was started playing hockey when I was I think four was my first year, and almost twenty eight now. So it's been a while. <laughs> it ended up working out okay for you, right? Yep. So you, you mentioned your brother. You do have two siblings, right? Yes. Serge and Priya. Yep. What was your relationship like with them growing up? I, you mentioned Serge being eight years older, and uh, what are they up to now? Uh, yeah, we were close. We were really close growing up. I mean, my brother, yeah, eight years older. My sister's five years older. So I was, you know, I always joke I was an only child from time to time. But, <laughs> you know, they were always, we were close growing up. We had a funny relationship. You know, we, we were never all really three friends at the same time. You know, one of us would be fighting with one person, but the other, it was always two against one kind of thing. But we all loved each other. I love them all. I was just talking to him yesterday. And, um, Right now, my brother, he is uh, working. He manages, like, a bar restaurant back home, and then he's also a part-time actor in Vancouver. So he does really pretty well with that. He's a pretty talented guy. And then uh, my sister has her own interior design business. So she lives out in Toronto. She had twins a couple years ago. And so those are my new favorite people in the world, my nieces. <laughs> and, but, yeah, so – and she uh, she got married about you know, five years ago now. He's Actually, he played pro basketball overseas for, like, seven, eight years. So, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. You ended up at St. Olaf College, yep. uh, in Division Three in Minnesota, and from what I could tell, you studied exercise science, kinesiology. Yep. 
what was kind of your mindset as far as going that path with your major, with your degree? And have you given any thought maybe as far as beyond hockey, kind of where you'd want to take your degree? Uh, yeah, so I actually went to St. Olaf and started as an econ major because I have a really good econ program there. And I went to my first semester, I'm like, I hate this. <laughs> not really a numbers guy, you know, I'm not, I just, I hated it. So um, I had a few friends that were in the exercise science department, like kinesiology, and they kind of liked it. So my second year, I switched my major to that. And then, I don't know, it was good because I, I love coaching and I want to go into coaching when I'm done playing. So that's probably what I'll do and skill development stuff. But um, the coach I work with back home, Ron Johnson, he has his PhD in like biomechanics and stuff. So I always found it interesting how he relates like all the skating mechanics should do all that kind of stuff from science into hockey. So I kind of wanted to learn more about the body and stuff. And so it worked out kind of nicely, actually learning about the body of kinesiology. And yeah, St. Olaf was a good time. I had a great time there. It was, you know, we weren't the best hockey team for my, especially my last two years, but away from the rink and, you know, even at the rink, I had a great time. It was awesome. Well, in, in talking about college, now I'm, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with you. Completely random and totally realistic question. Let's say you end up having a big test tomorrow. You've got to take like the SAT tomorrow, but you can't make it. Who's the one teammate that you would send in your place to take the test for you? Dylan Cooner. Dylan Cooner, if you're watching this, <laughs> he would be my guy, to be honest. So, yeah, what first about, call. What about here in Rono? Oh, here. I thought you were talking about college. That makes more <laughs> sense. Here, let's think. Hmm. You know what? Nick Ford. Really? Yep. Bold okay. answer, I'm telling you. But that guy's sneaky smart. I have a feeling, I think that he was all academic at Almira like twice. Yeah. If, if I remember his uh, his college profile yeah. a little so, bit. Nick, if you're watching this, I'm gassing you up. There you smart go, Bordo. He's, he's the brains behind the operation there. In arriving these past few weeks, you talked about the team being on the road now for, for a lot of the time. You, you've been here in your short time here in Roanoke. For a Roanoke fan that might be watching this that didn't get a chance to see you during that Knoxville series at home, how would you describe your playing style to someone who's never seen you play? Uh, I think I'm a big active defenseman. You know, I have a long stick and can use it pretty well in the D zone. And uh, I think I would make a good first pass and can get my shots through from the point. So, I know, a bit of more probably like a little bit of a two-way, but, you know, try to take care of my own end as much as you can, especially the older you get, the less you care about your points and the more you just kind of want to win games, you know, and win a championship. And that's kind of the what happens as you get more mature as a player. You, you know, when you're younger, you're like, oh, I want to have – good points per game or you want to get you know I want to get my point which is important too obviously it is but at this stage of my career and you know coming out of retirement like I did the main thing and I told Dan that too when I was coming in like the main thing I want to do here is help the team win a championship so whatever I can do whatever game I need to play to do that that's that's what I'll do so and, and you got a lot of minutes right out of yeah, the gate during yeah. that Knoxville series how <laughs> how big of a challenge was it that weekend where you know you're just trying to kind of gel into the weekend probably yep. when you get here and then by Friday night into Saturday, you're playing 30 plus minutes yeah. with, with the dogs a little shorthanded. Yeah, no, you know, it was, it was honestly, I kind of preferred it. it. And like, I was a little scared coming in because, like I said, I was home for two months and, you know, I was working out and stuff, but it's not the same as being in the middle of the grind with the boys in the season and having the game legs and stuff like that. But I'd almost prefer that to do it in a week of practice. And I'd rather just get the practice and then jump into a few games. But definitely, yeah, it was, just, I'm not going to lie to you, that Monday or whatever, <laughs> that day, uh, my groins were hurt and my everything. I felt like I was 55 years old, so not 27. But, yeah, it was uh, it was interesting to be thrown in. But I, I thought I did decently well. My conditioning-wise, it was, was actually better than I thought it was going to be. And so, yeah, it was kind of nice to get thrown into the fire, but definitely the body was feeling it. I definitely had to send a few ice tubs over the <laughs> over the last week. We're about to get you back to your rink here. I want to leave it open ended to you. Is there kind of anything I didn't touch on or, or something that you wanted to say to people that might be watching this? Uh, yeah, no, thank you to the fans. Thank you for all the support. You know, I've only been here for a couple of weeks, but already getting, you know, DMs and already getting people stop me on the street. Oh, yeah, I could a good win the other day or whatever. And uh, if you haven't been out to a game yet, you know, we got a really special group here. I've been around the game for a long time. And, you know, I can feel that this is a special group. So, you know, get out to a game, grab a couple of beers, get your kid an ice cream cone and uh, enjoy the show. Good deal, Roshan. Thanks so much yeah, for joining great me today. To see ya. Good luck to you guys. Yeah, thank you. Right, buddy. Oh, and hi, Mom and Dad. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Driving with the Dogs is sponsored by Haley Toyota, the official ride of your rail yard dogs. Visit Haley Toyota online at HaleyHasItForLess.com and stay tuned for more episodes coming soon.